Our children's minds are being preyed upon for the interests of the largest corporations on the planet. From birth to adulthood there are to be mass commercialized and turned into the perfect consumer of this capitalist lie we are all fed. Do you not believe that our impressionable minds are being filled with logos and brand recognition right under our noses? Let us review some of the largest offenders in the advertisement blitz on the next good little consumers in this dehumanizing system. 93% of children under 12 know McDonald's simply by the golden arches and over 80% can identify the mascot Ronald McDonald by images of his feet alone. Disney is another huge contributor to this mass corporate distortion of reality. Over half of children between 3 and 5 years old regardless if they can read our bail to discern Disney from any other logo presented to them. 80% of children know Toyota and a shocking 53% can identify the Shell Corporation and its product of gas in relation to cars. How is it that kids know corporate logos before other things which can certainly be deemed more functional for them to have internalized and learned? Youth marketing seeks now to tap into this market as children spend or directly influence a very large portion of the consumer market. They capitalize on this with a 365 degree market blitz. Through using the TV, music and the internet the child is surrounded by over 3,000 advertisements a day. Why do corporations want these minds and their slavery to their brands as well as their ideals of a never-ending cycle of consumerism? Because children represent a $704 billion market with either their direct purchases or nagging their parents into buying the goods they saw on the various form of media and their ads they are being inundated with. This current population buying power reflects in the fact this is the largest boom in children population in half a century. Over 52 million kids exist in America alone and represent a gold mine for youth marketers to peddle their goods to those who cannot fully understand the inner workings of why they are even being targeted as well as the dark intention of these corporations that wish to enslave body and mind to the obtaining of things. Children openly associate themselves with things and the lack or gain of these objects within the system now have a direct bearing on social standings and begin to teach them that if they do not consume they will not be happy. Sound familiar? Let us visit the pain of the middle class referred to as keeping up with the Joneses, a social drive one might make light of but most have fallen prey to in one way or another. Be it worrying about your grass being greener, the car in your driveway compared to others and other facades of this fake one upping that all good little consumer entangled in the web of this artfully placed system to rob of us thought, individuality and freedom to be human. Why care if your neighbor has anything better than you, is material objects the only symbol of worth for humanity? This is the great lie they sell to you as children and then you pass this disease of consumerism just as the system intends you to. Cradle to the grave consumerism is their aim and their motto is get to them young and convince them that life is all about obtaining material objects based on their brand names and their perceived social value. In the late 1970s there was a movement to ban ads to children under the age of 12 because most children psychologists were in consensus that these children didn't have enough facts or mental capacity to differentiate if the claims were false and were meant to completely and unfairly sway their opinions in ways adults can more readily recognize and discern for themselves. Public Law 96252 passed May 28, 1980 was the result of this backlash on ads aimed at kids. But again the corporations through nothing other than the printed symbol of our oppression bought their way out of any real limitations. This law ignored the concerns of millions that these giants were preying on their children unfairly and merely took away the FTC right to ever regulate ads then and in the future. These companies referred to silencing their ads aimed at feeding children pounds of sugar, fast food and other forms of junk foods as this free capitalist society electing a national nanny and it is up to the consumer to understand what is in front of them and make choices. But if the consumer is five years old, where is the line? How long are till we accept this corrosion of ourselves in exchange for a false sense of reality crafted by those who view us as livestock to their message of consumerism? How much happiness can we buy? Do you see the truth? We do.